Meet the Piedmont Prospectors Association, a group that's far more than just a bunch of weekend gold diggers. They get the scoop on the second Broad River in Rutherford County, North Carolina, an area that's a real gold mine for gold finds. The first commercial gold mine in the United States started in North Carolina. Gold strike was made right here on this particular piece of property in the spring of 1830. And the tradition of striking gold continues today. Some of the amateur archaeologists use old-fashioned gold gatherers like this sluice box that uses water action to sift rocks and sand through a riffle system. The sluice box concentrates the gravel down into what we call concentrate. Then we take the concentrate out of the sluice box and, and, uh, and uh, pan it with the gold pan. Now some of them use a little more extravagant equipment, but the desired result pans out the same. So what are the reasons these treasure hunters mine through the muck? To strike it rich? You never know what's going to be in that pan when you pan it down. Uh, uh, might not be anything, and then again, there might be a real good piece in there. And no doubt some have trouble keeping their feet on the ground when that certain ailment strikes. You do get gold fever. You, 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 you want to find it. It, it becomes a, a semi-obsession, I guess. And well, some people, I guess, are obsessed with it. But the obsession these prospectors have is not necessarily to get rich, but to get enriched. If it's not profitable, at least maybe it's therapeutic. And that's how you cure a case of gold fever in the mountains of the Piedmont. In Cable Country, Tim Cable, Eyewitness News 11, Rutherford County, North Carolina.